Morning from El Nido. Uh, it's about half five in the morning. Just going light over there. Uh, and we're just about to leave. But we're gonna fly up to Manila now uh, and then on to Macau. So hopefully nine hours time, we'll see you in Macau. You know, when we was in France, yes. and you said, I oh, only took you to McDonald's and not to the Eiffel Tower. Yes. Aside from the art galleries, did you really want to see the Eiffel Tower? Yes. Oh well, maybe next year. <laughs> What's that there? <laughs> the Eiffel Tower. See? <laughs> don't say I don't take you nowhere. <laughs> Not a bad little view, is it really? Well, welcome to Macau, and uh, we've been travelling just about a week now, and in the entire week, <laughs> unusually for me, I haven't had a rant yet. Well, it just happens that today is the day that I, I need to get a few things off my chest, so let's start by the good things. Um, we checked into El Nido, the airport, this morning, and it is probably the best airport in the world. It's this tiny, tiny little airport. It's like a village hall. Um, and you walk in and it's, hello, pleased to meet you. Is there anything we can do for you? Do you want a free cup of coffee, a glass of juice, anything you want? There's some food laid on for you. Uh, it was really, really brilliant. Best airport we've ever been to. Right, the bad news. Um, let's start with Manila Airport. The queues, I thought the queues getting through immigration at Miami were bad, but they were nothing to what we had to put up with in Manila. First of all, we get off the, the plane and uh, we need to change terminals. They tell us to go and queue for a bus. We get to the front of the bus queue term, uh, entrance where the guy gives out the tickets and he's like, well, a bus may or may not turn up in about 40 minutes time. So <laughs> that, that was no good. We then get across into the actual terminal. We had to queue to go into the building, which was horrendous. Then inside queue for an hour and a half to check in. Then another hour to get to immigration, so yeah, that, 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 that was just hell. But to top it all off, when we got to uh, Macau, just landed, got through immigration, joined the longest queue in the world again to get to immigration, and uh, get to the baggage carousel, and it's going round minus two bags. Have a guess whose two bags they are. So that means that we are going out around Macau, dressed in what we've been wearing for, for the past 11 hours. We've got to wear all, all tonight and all day tomorrow as well. And then tomorrow, when it is actually my birthday, spend it at the airport on the off chance that the bags actually do turn up. So, so not a great start, eh? Anyway, that's why I rant out the way and I feel better for it. <laughs> okay, so regardless of the fact we've got no clothes, we don't care. We're gonna go ahead on anyway, aren't we? Mm -hmm. So. First plan tonight, um, well, to say tonight, it's around about six o'clock now. We're gonna go and do the Batman ride, which is built into the hotel, which is some 4D ride with, um, we don't really know till we go and jump on it. <laughs> so we're gonna give that a go. Then go on the, the big Ferris wheel that's actually built into the, the, the building itself. Um, and we should have timed that just about right now, because if you could see behind us, uh, there you go. The, the things are starting to light up around the city now. So hopefully by the time we've done the Batman ride uh, and hop on there, it'll be sort of more duskish and things will be lighting up and uh, we should have great views from, from being on there. So whatever the uh, Manila airport chucks at us, it's not gonna stop us. <laughs>
Okay, so we just stopped off the, the Batman ride. It was really good, wasn't it? Uh, a bit similar to uh, if you've done the, the Avatar one in uh, Florida, in Disneyland there. Uh, a bit similar kind of 4D type thing, uh, just not as good as that, because to me that, that's the best one of them ever. <laughs> but uh, similar kind of thing, where it, it, it's, it's all the throwing you around, different kind of things. It's really good, isn't it? So that's done now. So uh, off to find the, uh, the big wheel. So we've just got to the entrance to the wheel. It's, it's like a figure of eight, uh, two Ferris wheels together. Uh, and the views now tonight are going to be outstanding. Yeah, just, just stopped off the wheel. Uh, I hope you caught some of the things on the, the video footage. Uh, it was great coming, coming up this time of night because all the buildings are all kind of lit up, aren't they? Uh, so it's really nice looking down on, uh, on the city all lit up. So, uh, so that's it, we're leaving our hotel, Studio City. Uh, we're gonna have a walk up the road and see if we can get to the top of this. Take a look at that ceiling. That's just oh. that's amazing. a view then from the top of uh, the uh, inverted commas Eiffel Tower. And them swimming pools look appealing at the minute. And that's our hotel, all lit up. When we leave here, that's where we're heading next. Big one in the background there, that's the uh, the Venetian Hotel. So we're going to take a look in there in a minute. So, uh, what do you reckon? 
You never thought you'd see me at the top of the Eiffel Tower, did you? <laughs> what do you mean? I know that's what I'm telling you. It is actually about 10 o'clock at night. And uh, I've seen these ceilings before in Vegas. They are absolutely amazing. The way it, it, you, you've got like, it does, it, it looks so, so real that you, you are actually outside. Uh, it's fantastic. Go on, what they like. As good as you wanted them to be. <laughs> we first tried one of these when we were in Beijing, was it? Was it Beijing? Somewhere in China anyway. But the the hot custard tarts that you get over here. Um, and it's it's a Macau speciality. So one of the things we couldn't wait to try when we were back over here was another one of these. And by the looks of it, that one's going down well. <laughs> Thank you.
Patrick, say boy. What was your name? Neil. Neil Armstrong. I said. Yeah. Okay, I will count on three and you blow it. One, two, three. Right, we just got back to Studio City uh, Hotel for the night after. <laughs> That's staying in, I'm telling you. <laughs> after after going to the Art Rock Cafe tonight, uh, where somebody surprised me with a birthday cake for the second time in a week. Last week, it wasn't actually my birthday, but you blagged one just because you like cake. Yes. <laughs> where this, this week, it was actually my, well, my birthday is... It is today, now it's gone midnight, but um, yeah, it, it, put it this way, it was more my birthday today than it was last week. So uh, yeah, we had, we had a good night in there after exploring all around the, the Venetian and doing all the kinds of things that we've done today, so that, that was all good. Uh, talking of birthdays, our case is still haven't turned up, so uh, if they don't turn up tomorrow, I'm going to have to end up going out in my birthday suit anyway, so... <laughs> So, tomorrow anyway, what we're going to be doing, we're going to head up Macau Tower. So, um, that involves getting up to the top, we're going to hang out the side of the tower, um, hang off the side, and uh, get a if, free t-shirt. if nothing else comes of it, yeah, we're going to get a free t-shirt, so at least we've got something to wear if the cases don't turn up in the morning. So, on that note, good night. <laughs>